Hello and welcome to our Zoom tutorial. So the first thing um, that you'll need to be able to access any Zoom meeting is of course the Zoom meeting link or request. So this will be sent to you beforehand. Um, so when the time for the meeting has struck, you'll simply go to your emails, um, open up the email that's been sent to you with the link, um, then click on the link itself. This will then open up another tab. Uh, if you've already installed the application onto your PC, it'll give you the option to open it via the app or you can open it via the web browser. It's much easier if you use um, the app as the app has more features uh, compared to the web browser. So you'll click on open Zoom meetings and it will show you a connection request. Um, then you'll be placed in the waiting room while the meeting host has to give you access to enter into the meeting. Once that has been granted to you, um, you'll then be able to access Zoom. So over here, you'll be able to see quite um, a number of features, or well, not that many really, um, but just the basic stuff. So first we have the mute, unmute button. So basically what this button does is it allows the person on the other end to hear what you're saying. When that means you're unmuted, then when you click on it again, it means you're muted. So therefore the person on the other end cannot hear what you're saying any longer. Then we have the start video button. So if you click on it, um, it starts the video uh, on your end and then stop video, stops the video. All right. So if you click on this button here, the participants button, this gives you the ability to see who's currently in the Zoom meeting. Um, and also if you're the host, you can then, um, you know, mute and unmute people. Um, then there's also an option for a chat box. So if you'd like to ask a question, perhaps during the session, you more than welcome to type it into this box here. Um, and everyone in the chat will be able to, in the Zoom meeting at that point in time, will be able to see that message. You can also message someone directly. So if you want to talk to the host and send them a private message, you can also do the same thing um, here. And then if perhaps there's something you would like to share with everyone um, during the session, then you can share your screen. So you basically just click here and okay, so Okay, um, in order to share screening, you have to ask permission from the host first. Um, and then there will be the ones that need to give you sharing rights that will allow you to share your screen with everyone else. So once you're given sharing rights, you'll be able to share your screen like so, and then you can choose whatever you'd like to share them, share with them. So maybe you'd like to do a PowerPoint presentation. So yeah, you just click on that and then it shares your screen. And then your screen is now visible to everyone else. Um, but if you move off the screen and go into maybe, I don't know, your emails or into Excel, then it won't share that screen. It will remain on the screen that you chose for it to share. Um, so it's, you'll need to stop and start sharing again if you want to move between um, different apps. Um, another feature that Zoom allows you to make use of is the raise hand feature over here. So if you click there, um, it'll show your hand is raised. So maybe you want to ask a question while um, the host is speaking or someone else is speaking. Um, and maybe they haven't responded to your message in the chat. So you simply just raise your hand and they'll be able to see that you've raised your hand, meaning that you want to ask a question. Um, then they'll, you know, they'll indicate that you're more than welcome to speak or by unmuting you or telling you to unmute yourself and to ask your question. And I think that's about it for Zoom for 
PC. 